How long should our fasting windows be? Hi, I'm Chris Masterjohn, and I have a PhD in nutritional sciences. I am not a medical doctor, and nothing contained in this episode may be construed as medical or nutritional advice of any kind or a substitute, therefore. This episode is meant purely as scientific education. If you wish to act on any ideas presented in this episode, please consult your physician first and never take anything herein as a reason to contradict medical advice. With that said, enjoy the episode. Since here, Anonymous says, in a previous AMA, you noted that you believe cycling in and out of a keto diet has health benefits because there are certain advantages to being in a fed state and a fasted state. A couple of related questions. One, do you have any recommendations for how long to stay in the fed and fasted states? For example, one week of keto, one week of non. When you discuss fed and fasted states in this context, you're referring to the fed state as one with carbs and the fasted state as one without carbs rather than fasted being completely devoid of calories. Okay, so quick answer to this is, you know, traditional textbook biochemistry would define the fed state as the feeding of a mixed meal. And that's characterized by calories, but it's also characterized by carbs. And so part of the fed state signaling is dictated by ATP levels and citrate levels and uh, NADH levels. And part of it is dictated by hormones such as the insulin to glucagon ratio. So you're basically in a fully fed state if you have a mixed meal with carbs and you're basically in the fully fasted state if you don't eat. And you're in an in-between state if you're on a keto diet that mimics some of the aspects of the fasting state with particular emphasis on the insulin to glucagon ratio, but also you know lower citrate levels, but isn't really mimicking low ATP levels and uh, and other things that are characteristic of um, low calorie intake. And so your and the keto diet was invented as a way to extend the fasting state without starving someone to death for therapeutic purposes. That's why it exists. Um, and so. Uh, that's what I'm referring to by fed and fasted state. And but the first question: Do I have recommended uh, recommendations for how long to stay in the fed and fasted states? No. Um, in fact, I think someone who eats three meals a day and no snacking is doing a form of intermittent fasting that most people aren't doing. And I don't even have a basis for believing whether that is superior, inferior, or the same as one meal a day in a 20-hour, four-hour feeding window. Um, and so I think it's very clear that you want to cycle through the fed and fasted states. I think exactly how you do that is all trial and error and anecdotal uh, accumulation of anecdotes and experiences at this point. And so I'm totally agnostic on that and totally open-minded about it. Thank you, Anonymous, for your question. This episode was part of a Q&A for members of the CMJ Masterpass, a buyer's club with exclusive and massive discounts on your favorite premium foods and health products, including pasture-raised and wild meat and seafood, supplements, sleep accessories, water filters, phototherapy devices, and much more. As a bonus, you also get to participate in monthly private Zoom Q&As with me. You can join the Masterpass at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash masterpass and use the code Q&A spelled out as Q-A-N-D-A, Q&A, for a 10% lifetime discount. From now through February or March, whatever it takes to get it done, I will be working full-time on finishing my Vitamins and Minerals 101 book while reserving a portion of my time for my consulting clients. You can pre-order my book at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash book. In my consulting, I am neither a medical practitioner nor a coach. I serve as your data analyst and your strategist. I teach you scientific principles of health and wellness, help you analyze your data, and help brainstorm actionable strategies. You can sign up for a consultation at chrismasterjohnphd.com slash consultations. I will try to respond to comments here when I can, but my presence will be intermittent while I'm finishing my book. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next episode.